What can you tell about a family by looking at a family portrait? Maybe the number of the siblings, the ages of the children, who the parents are? Well, in the Filipino Lippi painting, The Holy Family with St. John the Baptist and St. Margaret, you can discover some of the origins of the Christian tradition and the divinity of the subjects. The first thing I want to discuss about the Lippi painting is the setting. The Greco-Roman pillar is crumbling and covered in overgrowth. It is obscured by the foreground of the Christian figures, where the pagan tradition will be ultimately subverted by the biblical savior. Another thing to note about the Lippi painting is the size of the subjects. Though Mary and Margaret are both significant in stature, Mary is disproportionate to the rest of the painting. It's almost as if if she stepped outside of it, she'd be much larger than a regular human being. Joseph, however, is bent over in posture. I think that this is something that we can use to understand that he was a mortal man and of older age than the rest of the characters. Another detail we can read from the portrait is the coloring of the subjects. They all have pale and white skin, the exception being Joseph. This was a canonical device used by Lippi to signify the sanctity and holiness of the subjects. Joseph is darker because he does not have the sanctity and holiness and divinity of the rest of the group. It would be interesting to know that any realistic portrayals of Mary would have been of a woman from the Middle East with olive skin and dark coloring. However, it was important that Lippi used the lightening of skin as a way to be culturally relevant to signify to viewers that she was a person of sanctity and was chosen by God. Another component we can read from the Lippi painting are the characters' facial expressions. Mary and Margaret seem deep in thought, reflecting on the tragic but great fates of their children. Joseph seems pensive and wizened, looking at the children with reverence, contemplating what the great things they are going to do. John is looking at Jesus with loving adoration. It would be interesting to understand that John and Jesus never met as children. The artist seems to depict them here as babies to inspire devotion from the viewers. Jesus seems serene, his unfurled brow seeming to allow him to be seen as a line with a magnanimity. He is ultimately looking at a casket, a box topped with a rudimentary cross, seeming to signify his ultimate act. We've discussed plenty of context clues here in the galleries. However, if you want to see this painting for yourself, feel free to visit our collection online to look at this painting on your own time. See if you come to the same conclusions that I did as you read this painting. Thank you.